Well, people have often asked me how I sharpen my swords, and here's the answer. The work sharp. This is the Ken Onion edition. And um, this thing is a huge help. So far, I've actually avoided sharpening swords as much as possible because I'm not that good at hand sharpening. I can do it, but I'm often worried about scratching up the blade. And um, yeah, so this thing is primarily designed for sharpening knives, but it works for longer blades as well. So this is basically a miniature belt grinder. It comes with several exchangeable belts. It has an edge guide here and it has these angle guides. Flip that around. There's the dial for setting the angle. So as you can see, you can set everything from 15 to 30 degrees. So that's very versatile. So you can use this for anything from kitchen knives to scissors to machetes and swords, all kinds of things. And also there is a tool grinding attachment available that you could also use for axes, chisels, etc. If you have an extremely thick blade like this monster here, that's not going to fit in there. That's simply too thick. But anything else can definitely be sharpened with this. You set the angle and then you can either use it with or without the edge guide. The idea of this is it just helps you align the blade and if you have thumb studs and the like that interfere with this and you can just flip that over, move it to the side. So once you set it up and have the right belt on, you just put the blade in there with the flat against the guide and push down the button. It's not plugged in right now, but uh, you just activate it and draw it through as the belt is running. And you do that on one side first, several strokes, say for example 10 times, to raise a burr. And as soon as you notice that on the other side, you do that by brushing with your thumb in the direction of the edge on the other side. If that feels scratchy, then you know there is a, a burr raised. So basically the, um, the edge is, is kind of folded over at that spot. Once you've got that, you move over to the other side, do the same number of strokes on that side, and then you move over to a finer belt. And then you start using alternating strokes. So one, once on one side, then you go over to the other side, one, one, one. And to exchange the belt, you push up against this piece, remove it, and then you can put on the next belt, which can be a little fiddly to get that past the guides, but you get used to it. So the manual tells you everything you need to know. Also shows you the advantage of sharpening with a belt. Since it is flexible, you get this curve here. So that produces a convex edge as opposed to a flat grind where you have this corner there. And uh, this simply gives you less resistance in the cut. You can discuss different edge grinds for hours and different people have different opinions and preferences. The thing is, if you're highly skilled at hand honing, you can produce a superior edge compared to this. However, that would require a very high level of skill and experience. And of course, also you get better at this as well. So I'd argue that for most people, this would probably give them a better edge than what they can do by hand. Um, really, again, depends on how good you are at hand sharpening. The manual also talks about different types of sharpness, it distinguishes between toothy sharp, shaving sharp, and shiny sharp. It really is up to the individual person what to call that. It's, it's just arbitrary terms, basically. So uh, these are simply different grades of sharpness based on how fine the teeth are on the edge. Um, because even though, even if you call it toothy sharp, as opposed to shaving sharp. On this level, you still have very, very small teeth or, or you know, other uh, irregularities on the edge on a microscopic level. You're not gonna see it, of course, but uh, the finer you hone it, 
the um, smaller those teeth will be microscopically. So that gives you less resistance. But uh, yeah, you can, like I said, you can talk for hours about these things. So here's some information about the different belts. Comes an extra course. This is really just for repair or if you have a very, very dull edge. Uh, if, if it has any kind of significant damage, chips or you know any, anything like that, you would use that. Otherwise, you would start with a course, the X65, that's just to raise a burr, and then finally grind it with the X22, that's a medium. And uh, yeah, if you want the quote-unquote toothy sharp edge, you can stop there, or you can go over to the X4. And uh, the extra fine is really just for stropping. Also gives you a chart here with recommendations for what angle to use for what kind of blade. Okay, so the thing looks pretty small and you may wonder, can you really sharpen a large blade with this? And, uh, well, I'm just going to show you. Okay, so here I've got a sword that is quite dull. There's nothing to paper and in fact it's dull enough for me to do this without any worry. So you can see very dull. So for a sword, especially a gladius, I don't need a shaving sharp edge. A toothy edge will do just fine. So for that I'll have to start out with the coarse X65 grid and then finish off with the medium X22. And for this I'm leaving the edge guide on, even though that means that I'm not gonna get the entire length sharpened. So there's gonna be about, uh, about a finger width maybe at the bottom that won't be sharpened, but I'm not worried about that. I'm not going to cut with the edge that far down next to the guard anyway, so who cares, right? Okay, speed should be about medium. I tried to stop right before this point here. Apparently I did go a bit too far, but uh, I don't want to round this off anymore. So I should stop here and then I'm going to sharpen these edges here separately. Okay, that was 10 strokes on either side, and now I just need to clean it up with a finer belt. It should already cut. Yep, so that's already quite an improvement. So now, of course, there's still a burr, and I need to use alternating strokes, one on each side. This definitely works, as you can see. So a very easy way to go from so dull you can brush it against your skin and it doesn't do anything, to paper cutting sharp. And it also cuts the thinner type of paper just fine, which is pretty good. So like I said, someone who is exceptionally good at hand sharpening might not be impressed by this, or maybe they would, I don't know. But even if you are pretty good at hand sharpening, this saves you a lot of time. 
I mean, the time it takes to sharpen an entire sword blade with stones or sandpaper or whatever you prefer to use is significantly longer than the time it takes to do it with this. I didn't use a stopwatch or anything, but I think it took me about 15 minutes, 10 or 15 in, in that range to uh, get the blade sharpened. That is pretty damn quick and it produces a pretty good edge. So far I'm very happy with this thing. It was sent to me as a review sample, just so you know, but as always I'm not going to let that influence my opinion. Just based on what I've been using it for so far, it has worked very well. I've sharpened a couple of knives and the sword you've seen, the gladius, and yeah, I really cannot complain about anything. As far as the longevity of the belts is concerned, I can't really make any statements about this. They are supposed to last for very long. As soon as one of those gives out, I'll let you know. But uh, supposedly you can sharpen about up to about 200 knives with this. And yeah, this, I can imagine that that would be the case. But uh, replacing them is really not very expensive. And belt grinders of various kinds are very popular with knife makers for a reason. This is really a neat thing to have. And it's definitely well worth the price in my opinion. So as always, I'm going to post links in the video description to where you can find these. And, well, now you know how I sharpen my swords. I hope you found this helpful, and thanks for watching.